I had a quick feel of that material. Oh, good. Yes, I just it felt like it could go. <laughs> Well, we've got interest in going over it, having a look, see what happens. Oh, that's... Uh... The inaugural flight of the Menworth Hill <laughs> ballooning <laughs> experience. Quite right. show you Menworth Hill. It's a US listening base. It's on uh, British soil. It's officially RAF Menworth. It's um, basically what's run out of there is a listening station. It's called the Big Ear and um, it's run by the NSA. Um, the staff there is enormous. They have something like nearly 2,000 members of staff there. In fact, I think it might be more than, than MI5, but MI5 aren't giving us their staffing details right at this moment, so I can't verify that. This was set up in the 50s to share information about spying and, and what was going on and, you know, how to poison Cuban cigars and all that kind of thing, poisoned umbrellas and all that kind of stuff. But now, what you've got here is the Cold War's over and you have basically a commercial operation. People are listening into um, economic information, commercial in information, eavesdropping on companies all over Europe, eavesdropping on individuals. Um, tracking uh, people who they would consider dissident subversives. And it works on key words. So if I had a telephone now, I was sort of rattling away going, oh, Colonel Gaddafi, uh, Semtex, uh, Libya, Number 10 Downing Street, Jerry Adams, uh, Peter Mandelson, uh, AK-47, and all that kind of stuff, then they'd probably be listening, well, they might even be listening now. Hello, Mum? Mum? Yeah, it's Mark. Uh, Colonel Gaddafi. Semtex, AK-47, Hezbollah, Martin McGuinness, Jerry Adams, the UDF, the UVA, Swampy, Peace Protesters, Delia Smith, Shipment of Arms, British Aerospace, Nuclear Fuels. <laughs> no, I'm not smoking, Mum, it's a balloon. I swear, I'm not smoking. Big bird, big bird retrieved, you read Evan. These are the white balls of deception. As I believe Will Carling is referred to. Do you realise if you dropped a sixpence from this height, you'd kill somebody? It's almost like the Millennium Dome had a, had a litter. Isn't it? Domelets. Guys, with these uh, slack winds, we're running a bit low on gas, so uh, we'll want to be looking for a landing site in the next five minutes. Okay. What we'll do is just get over this uh, this side, and then um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh shit! Suddenly, <laughs> we're running out of fuel. <laughs> we're going RAF over RAF Menworth, and we're looking for a landing site. Oh, hello. There's a helicopter. Oh, fuck it. This is all going... This is all going horribly wrong. Oh, my God. 
They've got their own petrol station, look, it's like a little village. Oh, they're videoing us. That's amazing, isn't it? They just, they just can't stop spying, can they? <laughs> oh my god. This is all a tad more scary than I thought it would be, to be honest. Here we are. Here come the police. They're filming back. <laughs> <laughs> 